Okay, so how about me telling my friend that I am going to tell him a trick about scoring goals in a football match. Sounds amazing, right? The only problem is that though my friend has never been to a football field and don't know how to play football. Weird, right? Why on earth I am going to tell this to my friend? Something similar is happening in the world of software engineering, in the world of learning software engineering. I am not creating this video to intimidate anyone. The only intention behind this video is to make sure that the programmers, the real programmers understand the world beyond the glamour. Object oriented programming doesn't solve any problem. It is not a problem solving technique. Yes, object oriented programming is not a problem solving technique. It's just a way of arranging things. It's an arrangement technique. It's not a problem solving technique. But before you can arrange something, you need to have that problem solved. Without solving, how can you arrange things? Look at this particular room, right? You can arrange the bed and sofa lamps in a different way. Maybe some way it's better than other way. But before you can do that arrangement, you need to have this room built before you can even think about arranging a few things. Before you are thinking about arranging your code in a different way, you need to understand how you are writing your code to solve the problem because of which you intend to write that code. And pretty much all the problems are solved by data structures and algorithms, not by object-oriented programming. So when you create data structures, you decide how you are going to store your data, how you are going to retrieve your data, what is the speed of storing and retrieval. The algorithms decide how you want to process your data to get the desired results. None of these things has any relation with how you arrange your data, whether it is object-oriented programming or procedural programming or functional programming. I am forced to talk about this because I have seen the glamour behind object-oriented programming and many people have come to me and asked me, can you teach me object-oriented programming? And to one particular person I asked, do you know programming? And the person said, what's the difference? This is the difference I want each and every programmers, current and future programmers to know the difference between what object-oriented can do, what your data structures and algorithms can do. You need to focus more on gain your skills on creating your data structures and algorithms. Now, when I'm talking about data structures and algorithms, I'm not talking about the well-known tree data structure or sorting algorithms or something like that. We end up creating data structures and algorithm even when we are not actually thinking about it. Think about writing a function where you are taking things from database in one go, creating some things as static, making sure that you create a class structure to hold intermediate variables. All those things are data structures. And when you are thinking about like, you know, getting the database connection only once and put hundreds of transactions and make sure that you club those transactions, those are algorithms. This is what solves your problem. Once you know how to solve your problem, you can think about, okay, just like this room, I want to arrange things in a way so that it's reusable, maintainable, and all those things that is being talked about object-oriented programming. I'm not saying don't give the due respect of this particular technique of arranging the data, but this has limited impact on how you are going to solve your problem. The maintainability and reusability doesn't go inside the code. It's your data structures and algorithms go inside the code. Reusability and maintainability is mainly for the people who are going to look into the code later on or want to extend the code later on. And let me tell you that I have written code long enough to understand that no matter which technique you use, once your code size grows, you know, tens of thousands of lines of code, you need to do a hard debugging to be able to understand that code, no matter which technique you have used to write your code. And let me tell you, based on my own experience, a code written in a sequence form is sometimes easy to debug as compared to the pattern-based code where you know where the problem is, 
you get into that place while debugging but you need to understand what happened in compile time and you need to go ahead and see the code at some other place i believe you understood what i am trying to say so in a big code you'll have to do hard debugging no matter how much documentation you use how much so called technique you use to create your code these things gain lots of attraction because languages are created based on you know object oriented these languages are object oriented languages and believe me if you have written code in object oriented language for a very long time you know this you start with a pure object oriented thing once you get into the problem domain the object oriented part is slightly goes backwards and problem solving thing which is actually data structures and algorithms comes in forefront and that's why people say that you haven't written a good object oriented code because object oriented code is not solving the problem that's why programmers while trying to do that you know put that in a back burner and try to find an algorithm to solve the problem everything is good you should know functional programming you should know object oriented programming you should know procedural programming but on top of that you should know how to solve a problem how to create your own data structures how to create your algorithms i do hope and believe that this video was useful to all of you we will meet again and till the next time we meet good day goodbye you take care